features this beautiful 5.8 inch super rack display, this all glass design. It features a two drive camera which enables really cool features like uh, Face ID and Animojis. It has a new A11 processor which is faster and more efficient than the processor from last year. When we talk about this design, you see that the display stretches from corner to corner all the way into those elegantly rounded corners of the device. Then they're in the corners. This back and front are both made from the strongest glass, the most durable glass in a smartphone. And this stainless steel band, this surgical grade stainless steel, it polishes up beautifully. It just looks incredible. Now this display is an HDR, di HDR display. We support both HDR10 and Dolby Vision. So when you're watching movies like this, where there's going to be lots of bright colors and lots of dark colors in the same scene, it's really going to be an incredible viewing experience. Now, as I mentioned, we do have the dual cameras. There are now two 12 megapixel cameras with dual OIS. They both have optical image stabilization, and that's going to help you take some really incredible photos. So we're really excited about photography this year in Ireland. You get these incredible wide colors, these beautiful greens, the blues, the dresses are just popping. Or this photo, really this old, rich orange, and incredible subject separation in this portrait shot. These first photos really highlight some of the features, this great detail, the beautiful color, incredible fine texture, as well as the ability to capture the shot. Really excited. We also see improved HDR this year. So this shot normally has the really bright, harsh sunlight on one side of his face and shadows on the other. And we're still able to compose a really great image. We recover some of the highlights and we preserve the detail in the low lights. And you'll see improved tonality in HDR photos this year. Now you'll also see really incredible detail and fine texture if you zoom in on their hand. It's great detail up through the ice cream cone and into the sprinkles. It's incredible detail. Or this shot of a man jumping into the pool. If you look into the water, you can see the tiny rings from all of the droplets that have coming off of it. So again, another photo of just really incredible color, incredible texture, the texture on her shirt, the stitching that you can see. Um, and areas that are traditionally low contrast, like this rock, this is where you're going to see really great improvements and fine texture. So this rock just looks great. And then obviously zero shot, and this is for motion, so it helps you capture the shot that you want to capture. Whether that's jumping on the end of the dock, jumping some balls, or jumping through the air. Now, we talked a little bit about the improved um, the OIS is improving low light pictures, but we'll just have low light, improved low light in general, so it'll be better color and texture preservation, and a lot more noise as you see through here. Um, we've really been able to capture the dark background without the noise. Same thing here. The noise reduction really in the background, the texture in the air. And then again, texture in the background to reduce the noise throughout the day. And of course, low light portraits. This will also benefit from the dual light. This is actually a flat shot, but it's all about preserving colors and textures and really reducing the noise. And of course, for portrait shots, we also have three those, just general portrait shots. So you're going to see better bokeh effect, a more naturally blurred background, which you see in here, these beautiful light dapples. And this photo as well, these beautiful light dapples from the improved bokeh. Right. We think people are really going to love them, the new features that are here. And of course, we have portrait lighting now, which you can adjust as after the fact. So we have our natural light, which is the photo that you took. We have studio lighting, which creates a brightly lit light on the face. Contour, which adds dramatic shadows. Stage light, which is you cast against a dark background. The stage light mono, which is the stage light in classic black and white. And of course, like I said, you can change these after the fact, just like I did. Also, we now have the best video capture in a smartphone. So we offer 4K60, which will make the motion be a lot smoother in photos. And 240 frames per second slow mo, which just looks great. And of course, portrait selfies now because of the true depth camera. So with portrait selfies, this is studio, which is a brightly lit face. We have contour, which is dramatic shadows along the face. Stage lighting, which is you cast against the back background, and stage lighting on And just like with the rear camera portraits, you can adjust these after the fact. So you can look at the natural light, studio lighting, the contour lighting, 
stage lighting and stage light monitor. Now the A11 Bionic this year is going to be at six cores. The two performance cores are going to be up to 25% faster than the A10 Fusion. The four efficiency cores are up to 70% faster than those in A10 Fusion. And the GPU is three cores, it's up to 30% faster than the A10 Fusion. When you combine that with our new second generation Apple performance controller and our battery, you can expect iPhone 10 to last two times longer, or two hours longer, sorry, two hours longer than iPhone 7. Now the A11 Bionic also enables really cool AR experiences like Warhammer Free Play. So we can go in here. Switch his dance up. Wow. And there's. <laughs> and that just looks great. How about camera? Camera. We can show you the camera. Um, obviously, the camera you can take some photos, but that's why we kind of go through the photos. Uh, well, those are going to be our good examples of our portrait. But obviously, portrait mode you have here, you can shoot yourself if you wanted to. And you can see the naturally blurred background, or you can do the studio lighting, which is a little bit brighter. Now there's a very white background behind you, which is going to make things a little yeah. bit more interesting. This is also a true tone display, so when you're doing things like reading iBooks, they're going to adjust to the white balance. How about the Animojis? So the Animojis are enabled again by this incredible True Depth camera. So if we go to this... So just uh, using the iMessage only. The Animoji RMS iMessage, we do allow the facial capture in third-party apps. I can show you that. So we have our Animoji here. We have 12 of these. And they, like I said, they capture up to 50 different muscle movements. I mean... <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I'm scared. All captured with an animoji. Now, we are allowing that information to be shared with third-party developers. So we can go to you. And if you lean your head back, you see how there's... We're actually doing light estimation to understand the lighting on your how your lighting affects your face. We also have P2 on here. So you can swipe... Now move your face too, I got it. So it follows the curves of your face, your cheekbones, your eyebrows, your forehead. They've really done an incredible job with this. Funny. And we're super excited about the third party opportunities that are available for that in the future. Okay. And that is iPhone 10. Thanks.